Hello, Spiritual View. Uh, welcome, if this is the first time uh, joining us, and welcome back if you've uh, become a regular follower of us. So I'm kind of excited. We've got this full moon energy. A lot of things are going to be coming forward as far as information out there. Saturn stations direct. This is really strong energy and anything that you've been working on and that whatever the Pisces um, house is for you, all that stuff that's been so aggravating, now it's going to start to work for you. And uh, if you've been doing the work, then Saturn always gives the reward. So let's see what we've got going on. This is, I'm going to, this is like an oracle deck. So I'm going to just draw this for you. Intuition. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, very strong. And we're going to get a, a lovely boost because Uranus is going to be conjunct the moon. Boy, that's going to really turn up the volume on everybody's intuition. And um, I think it's, we're all actually turning into human lie detectors. You know, it's like somebody can say something and you're like, mm. in your mind, it's like, ah, I don't necessarily believe that, but but it's a, it's a two card. So I would say, oh my goodness, I just feel like, oh my, no kidding, awareness. Let your intuition be your guide. Because I feel like, feel like the Saturn moving direct is going to allow you to put your dreams, that Pisces energy with Neptune there, you know, um, with, with Neptune in Pisces, you certainly can dream it, imagine it. And if you can do that, you can make it come true. And Saturn is there to help you. So follow your intuition. I think there's going to be a lot. Oh, I like this energy so far. Yay. Victory and success. Love this energy. Victory and success. Okay. Nice start. Nice start for us today. I think um, everyone should utilize this um, full moon energy because um, lots of choices. I'm going to put that over here. Um, because I really think that um, this is a time of manifestation and we just had um, the 11, 11 portal but also on November 1st, the 111, and then on January 11th, guess what happens? January 11th, it's again, 111. And I feel all of this energy that we're taking with us through this, um, the astrology that's being laid out for us is going to allow us to um, put the finishing touches on what our manifestations are. I don't mean that they'll be accomplished, but I mean that they'll be started and you'll see um, synchronicities that let you know that things are coming in. So I think they're almost ready. I really feel, um, because on January 11th, one of the other things I thought, oh my goodness, the nodes change signs on the 12th, which is really cool. But guess what? They actually change signs for the United States on the 11th. So um, that is going to cement in the Pisces energy for us at 29 degrees. Very cool. And gives us a chance to start working on the less self-critical South Node in Virgo. The energy of things that we can accomplish, and but not to be so self-critical. So let's take a look at what these energies are here. One more for the bottom of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. Lots of choices out there for people to start their new businesses or their side hustles or anything like that. Okay. Ah, the Queen of Swords, an independent woman under intuition. Love that. Love that. Awareness. An Ace of Wands. If you can dream it, if you can think it, you can make it happen. That's what manifestation is about. Practice that manifestation muscle, right? Um, because I really think that anything is possible. Queen of Wands underneath victory and success. And I love this energy because she's starting out with this small flame that she's focusing on, that she's giving joy to. And that's very much a way to manifest things. And she's got her other arm raised in victory. And this is underneath victory and success. Ah, underneath Queen of Swords. 
This is the moon, deep emotions, sometimes fear. But I will tell you that there's two wolves. And which wolf do you feed? Um, that has been a theme, I think, for, for me for the past six months. Which wolf do you feed? There are, there are so many things that are possible right now and are going to be more and more available in the future. And it's very interesting, the astrology that's coming up in the next two years. And it's there's going to just be big changes. But um, guess what happens when there are big changes going on out there? The opportunities then become immense. That's the perfect time to um, move yourself forward and look at that full moon. This is one of my, I, I have to, I just admire this deck so much because um, all of the, um, all of the um, illustrations speak to me um, so deeply. And this being the moon, it is. Sometimes people can feel overwhelmed, but look at the connection she actually, look at the little bubbles that are going up. Um, don't let yourself get overwhelmed in this. This is just a resting moment. And then you can start to move forward with this energy. And it's underneath the Queen of Swords. It's like, oh, well, but, but it's okay. Queen of Wands, I mean, Queen of Cups here, Queen of, I'm just noticing that there's three Queens and this is the one in the center, Queen of Cups, keeping that higher connection even though there's all this water energy. Um, and also just got a little tickle, um, my ear. Um, it's it's the, uh, definitely the water is going to be playing an issue um, with this energy that we're having for this full moon um, and continued energy. There's so many things because we do have all that strong energy in, in the water signs that I think we're gonna have um, issues with different water things come up. But the Queen of Cups, even with that going on, she is connecting to her higher self with that crown energy. Ooh, yes. Four of Swords. This is someone who is um, resting. And if you really look at her face, it's a very comfortable, I mean, it looks awkward, <laughs> but she's actually resting, rejuvenating, um, healing. That's what's going on here. And it's underneath the Queen of Wands. I think it's a well-deserved rest um, in a nest, in her nest. So whatever your nest may be, Eight of Pentacles, doing the work carry water, chop wood. And this falls underneath that moon energy. I really think, so I want to show you what all of these are again, because I really think it's important. You do have intuition. And look at what she's looking into. The whole universe. Don't you feel like she's looking down? She has the whole universe as a choice. And she's an independent woman, right? Which wolf do you feed? I'm going to accomplish this. I've got dreams. I'm just going to work, 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 work towards my goals. It's very, very likely that you're going to get exactly what you want. Just keep that mental image in your mind. Okay, another. Oh, yes. So underneath the Queen of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is um, legacy. This is a happy family. Um, this is a happy tribe. This is good times and sharing and feeling comfortable. Knowing that there's enough for everyone. I like all the children that are there and playing, playing. We don't play enough. Ah, judgment. Hecate, you're at a crossroads. What dreams do you have? I think this is a perfect illustration of the energy of choices. Don't judge yourself so harshly. That's what the South Node is going to do when we go into Virgo. It's going to say, okay, you need to quit being so hard on yourself. Just keep doing the work. That's Virgo. They're very diligent. 
they know the details. Um, but don't, don't get drowned in the perfectionism. Don't get drowned in the perfectionism. And I think maybe that's also what the moon card is saying. Um, Pisces is about that higher connection. It's also, if you want to get away from the lower vibration of Pisces, which is victimhood, um, you have to feed the right wolf. That's important. I really love the fact that judgment came through, a major arcana. Um, so we had the moon as a major arcana and um, judgment as a major arcana here. But what I like is three queens came out. And to me, don't forget on the underside of the decks, seven of cups, so many choices, so many choices, and then nine of pentacles. Yes, the universe is going to help you with this very definitely. And I think that um, one of the things I, because I was like, I'm going to wait until the very end to find out <laughs> what Oracle cards want to come out. Um, and so I, all of a sudden my gaze landed on this deck. Hey. Um, and I think it's very appropriate because it's Uranus energy. This is very, to me, that's a very Uranus kind of a deck. Ah, mm -hmm. I'm going to let a couple come out. I want three. One more. And here we have it. Okay. So let's see what our extra little bit of news is here. Find your star family in this cosmic game of hide and seek. And we are moving the, with Pluto into Aquarius in a very cosmic time. We are going to go to higher levels. Bloom where you are planeted. Um, that is either, I, I almost feel like it's new. I feel like it's a new thing because it's where you are planeted. Planets. I feel like... Um, Wherever you're going to end up, be that beautiful flower that grows and blooms and comes back. Um, and this, fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. So much about this reading is about moving forward, making changes. And it's, <laughs> there was a queen. There was a queen in each row. Put on that crown. We are here to make a change. Um, I think that's absolutely fabulous. And now I do have to have, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't quite give up. I can't quite, quite give it up. I want one more card. My dragons, my dragons were also calling me today. So it's all about the cards and what, what they feel like saying. Okay, here we go. I want, I want a dragon card to come out to give us a nice send off into this energy of this full moon as we make our intentions known and release the things that are no longer serving us. That's a big part of what the, what the moon does um, for a full moon. Ah! Oops. The Crystal Guardian. Hmm. Ah, here we go. The Crystal Guardian. Crystals contain the wisdom of the earth. Some believe that dragons too were made from the molten center of the earth and therefore, like crystals, contain an ancient wisdom. Now is the time to draw on the earth's grounding and deep intelligence. Whether you consult your crystals, walk amongst the rock beds, or lay down with your spine stretch across the earth. Seek the counsel of the earth. Listen to her stories and her messages. There is a voice and a vibration inside the rocks which will help ground you deep into the molten center of your own core. I'm actually going to save this card and read it again later when I am doing my um, video for setting intentions and um, releasing for this full moon energy that we have coming up. 
and that will last for several days. So you have plenty of time this weekend to utilize that energy. But um, it talks about crystals and we're using crystals as a part of this release ceremony. So I think that was very serendipitous. Um, synchronicity is a love letter from the universe. So I think uh, we are truly blessed today. I will see you soon. Bye.